In element 3D, you can isolate objects as well. So let's go to scene setup for that and take up a one model. So I'm going to go on to my set starter pack and I'm going to select something like this billboard. So I'm going to press OK and you can see that the billboard is here. So what this is all about is now uh, the billboard is actually made up of multiple materials. So as you can see, there's poster 2, billboard and poster 1. Those are three materials right there. You can actually go to the presets, you can go for something like Procedure, I'm going to take Fabric, if I were to drag it, you can see that that changes, I can actually drag this one out as well, that part of the billboard actually changes, just like that, I can move out any of the materials that I have, just drag it out, and you can see that the material is there, just like that. So now, uh, the good thing about this is that now I can isolate individual materials. So if I were to go over here, as you can see, there are multiple uh, um, there are multiple materials right here. So I can disable each one of these. So I can disable this one, and you can see that now only the uh, first poster, uh, poster is actually seen. I can also just disable the poster too, and you can see that the back is actually like this. Let me just use another... Uh, material right here so it seems much more natural like this chrome look right here so I got this metallic uh, nice finished billboard right here so you can see that now uh, this poster has been disabled right here this is a poster to disable it and you can see uh, the model beneath it so you can also go over here for the graphic fur and you can see that now I only have the plain billboard right here and the good thing about this is you can isolate the object as well so right now uh, this is the billboard group right here. What I can do is I can simply copy this out. So I can actually duplicate this group. So I'm going to duplicate all. And over here in the first group, um, you can see that Chrome is activated. And in the second one, I'm just going to activate the poster, as you can see, and disable the Chrome right here. And then for the group folder, I'm going to choose two. So that is on the second group right here. I'm going to duplicate this out as well, duplicate the model, just like that. And I'm going to choose group 3 for this. And on this one, I'm going to choose the fur right here and disable the other one. So now, for this group, only the fur is on in the group 3. In group 2, only the poster 2 is on. And for the group 1, the chrome uh, middle bar is on. So once I press OK, you can see that the whole model actually comes up right here. So now, what I can do is, for this, I'm going to make a new camera so that I can rotate around the model and see how it looks. I'm going to choose the rotational tool right here, the orbit camera tool, click and drag, and you can see that the model is there. So I can rotate it around and you can see that the model is there. All right, so now what I can do is since even if it is the same object, I have isolated each and every object, the each and every material into different groups. So now what I can do is I can go on to the particle replicator and I can see the position of that particular group right here. So I can click here and you can see that now that object has been moved. And But the billboard is still there. So, so the billboard is still there. I can go on to something. I'm just going to rotate this out so you can see the other billboard right here. So now I can do is I can go for uh, something like group 3. I'm going to go into the particle replicator. I'm going to change the position of this object right here as you can see. So I can just change the position of this object as you can see right here. I can similarly you do that with uh, group 3 in the particle replicator. I'm going to change the position of that billboard right there. In group 2 change the particle replicator go for position. You can see that the group that the object actually changes. Let me just uh, rotate around the camera so that you can actually see the change right there. So you can see that now this billboard has been moved up. So that is how you can isolate objects and then work with the individual objects inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.